Hi guys, Jeremy Simon here with 3D Universe. I had some questions recently about the calibration procedures for the Ultimaker 3, uh, especially with regards to the XY offset calibration. So I wanted to just do a quick video here to show you how that process works. So we're just going to step through the whole calibration process, starting with leveling and then going through the XY calibration. The XY calibration is to make sure that the two print cores are aligned properly with one another. So you're going to want to do that every time you change one of the print cores. Now the Ultimaker 3 will save these settings on the print core itself, so you only have to do this once for each pairing of print cores. So if you put the same two print cores in and you do that XY calibration and then you switch to some other print cores, you want to print the calibration, do the XY calibration again. But if you then switch back to the same print cores you were using initially, you shouldn't have to do that a second time. It should still have those saved settings uh, for that combination. So the first thing we're going to want to do is a manual leveling of the bed to make sure that the bed is properly leveled because the XY calibration involves actually printing out some grid patterns on the glass and we want to make sure that the bed is properly leveled so that that prints cleanly. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is level the bed because we want to make sure that we have it properly leveled so that the XY calibration prints properly and sticks well to the build plate. So if you haven't already done so, you'll want to do the leveling procedure which you can do by going down to the system menu and then go down to build plate and then select manual leveling. Now it's going to guide you through this process and tell you each step of the way what to do. We'll just go through that together here. So select continue. Now it's going to go ahead and lift the build plate up for us. Now it's going to stop about an inch or so down from the nozzle. And if you look at the display, it's telling us that we should rotate the button now to move the build plate till it's about one millimeter away from the print core. So basically this leveling is done in two stages. The first stage is just a rough leveling, getting the plate close to the nozzle. And then the second phase is going to be the fine tuning, getting it set properly. So for this, we'll go ahead and use that knob to rotate until the bed is just about a millimeter away, like it says. It doesn't have to be exact, just pretty close, not touching. Now it's going to go ahead and move to the front corner and it'll tell you the same thing. It says go ahead and turn the right build plate screw until it's one millimeter away from the print core. So this time instead of using the, the knob on the printer, we want to use the screw that's underneath the build plate that's right uh, on the side where the, where the print head is. So in this case it's our front right. So if you turn it uh, clockwise, as if you were looking from underneath, that's going to pull the bed downwards, whereas if you go the other way, counterclockwise, again, if you were looking up from underneath, then it's going to loosen that screw, which results in the bed lifting closer to the nozzle. So you want to just adjust that until it's about, again, one millimeter from the nozzle. Go ahead and then push the knob on the front of the printer, and it will then move over to the other front corner, where you repeat the procedure. Again, just using that, that knob to adjust either down or up until it's about one millimeter away. Go ahead and then push the button to continue. And it's now going to move the extruder back to the center rear of the platform. And this time it's telling us that we want to fine tune the build plate leveling using the calibration card. So you'll want to pull out the calibration card that was included with your accessories kit with the printer. If you don't have that handy, you can just use a sheet of paper, which is what I'm going to use here. It's approximately the same width and it should work just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and push continue. Now it says move the card under the nozzle, adjusting screw until you feel a bit of resistance. It's actually a little bit misleading because in this first step, we're going to be using the knob on the front of the printer to adjust the build plate up or down until it's touching the, the paper. Um, and putting just a little bit of resistance. So what we're going to do is put the sheet of paper underneath the nozzle and then again using that front knob we're going to lift the build plate up until it touches the paper and I'm going to be moving the paper front and back just pushing it in and out and I want to feel some resistance on the paper but not much. It shouldn't be digging a groove into the paper and it shouldn't be biting down hard on it. it sh I should just feel a little bit of resistance, a little bit of friction from the nozzle on the paper and that's, that's the proper leveling height. I'm going to go ahead and just stick the paper in there. As you can see right now, it's too low and I can just, you know, move the paper back and forth freely. So I'll go ahead and, and raise it a little bit. I'm holding the camera here, so it's a little bit hard to do both parts at once, but 
That's still a little bit too loose. I can move it very freely back and forth. So I'm going to go a little bit higher. Now I'm starting to feel some resistance, and that's probably a little bit too much resistance. I can pull pretty hard, and it's, it's got it held pretty firmly. So I'm going to back it off a little bit. Now we have it at a point where there's just there's a little bit of resistance on the paper. It kind of bends if I, if I uh, push on it, but it can still move pretty freely. I'm going to back it off just one tiny notch. That feels pretty good to me. So that's about the right height for the leveling. And now I'm going to go ahead and push the button to continue. And it's going to then move to each of the corners where we'll proceed to repeat that procedure. Same thing, I'm going to use the sheet of paper and, and test the friction level. That's probably a little bit too tight there, so I'm going to turn it clockwise. Again, as if I was looking up at it from underneath to lower the build plate a bit. A bit too much. I'm going to go back the other way, and that's that's good right there. I can I can feel a little bit of friction, a little bit of resistance, but I can still push and pull the paper easily. So I'm going to go ahead and push the button to continue again. We'll go to the front left corner, and one more time, use the paper. Now in this case, I'm not feeling it at all, so I'm going to raise the build plate. Now there's a little too much tension. You just adjust it back and forth until you get. Just like that, just the right amount of tension where you can move the paper freely, but there is some friction on the paper. And that takes care of the front left corner. So now when I confirm, it'll tell you that it's moving on to calibrate the Z offset. So uh, what it just did uh, as I was showing you the front screen is it went back and, and hit the nozzle uh, switch back there in the far back right of the printer to change to the second nozzle, so it, it basically lowered that second nozzle down so that now we're going to be able to set the level of the right hand nozzle, the print core number two. So um, same procedure basically, uh, we're going to go ahead and push continue here and it's going to tell us to move the card under the nozzle, rotate the wheel until you feel a bit of resistance. So just like we did before, uh, I'm going to test it out, there's no resistance at all right now, so I'm going to use the, the knob to lift the build plate a little bit. Still need to go higher. A little bit too much resistance there. feels about right. A little bit of resistance on the paper. And so now we're going to confirm. Okay, and that completes the leveling procedure. So the bed should be properly leveled now, and we can move on to the XY offset calibration. So to do that, we're going to select Return, to go back to the system menu, we can go down to maintenance, and then calibration, and then calibrate XY offset. Now as it tells you here, this is going to take about 20 minutes because it has to print out some patterns on the glass. So I'm going to go ahead and let that get started, and then I'll show you how the calibration procedure works. Now in this case, I have PLA material loaded in both of my print cores. Uh, you might have PLA in the first print core and PVA in the second print core, and that's just fine. Uh, whatever materials you have loaded, you can still do this calibration procedure. Just make sure that the glass plate is, is well leveled and well cleaned. Uh, depending on what material you're using, you might have to apply a little bit of glue stick or um, you know whatever material you use to help that stick properly. But in this case, we're just going to go ahead on clean glass and uh, do the calibration. Okay, so it just started printing out the first of the two grid patterns that's going to be printing, and I just wanted to 
point out that this is a good opportunity to do any fine tuning, uh, little final adjustments to the leveling if needed. Uh, in this case, it's actually looking pretty good. What you want to be seeing is, is just what you see here. It should be uh, laying those lines down nice and flat. They should be sort of smushed flat into the bed. If, if the lines are not coming through clearly, uh, like uh, there's not enough material extruding, that might mean that the bed is too close to the nozzle and you might have to back it off a bit. On the other hand, if the, if the filament is sort of being laid down in threads that are just sort of sitting on top of the glass and not being smushed flat, that means that your glass is a little bit too far from the nozzle and you want to make it a little bit closer. So you can actually just use the adjustment knobs in the, the front left, front right, and there's actually another one at the rear uh, center of the, of the build plate to kind of do some, some fine tune adjustments while it's printing. Um, and depending on how bad it was and how much you have to adjust, you may need to start the job over. But it's, it's sometimes helpful to actually see it while it's printing uh, for making those final adjustments to the leveling. I'm going to go ahead and let it finish this print job, and then we'll show you what to do with these grid patterns. Okay, so the calibration print is finished, and as you can see, it's telling us to now carefully remove the glass plate without affecting the calibration print, which I've already done. And you can press continue. And then it says to place the glass plate on top of the XY calibration sheet, and press continue. And now it's telling us to follow the instructions on the calibration sheet. I'm going to go ahead and push continue, because I'm going to show you that in a moment. And now it's going to ask for two values. First it's asking for the X offset, and then it's going to ask for the Y offset. So now let's go look at how to find those values. All right, so you want to get out your calibration sheet that came with the printer. Um, if you are missing this for any reason, you can download it from ultimaker.com forward slash XY calibration, and you can print off a new copy. So you take the calibration sheet, you take the build plate with the print, which as you can see printed out two grid patterns, uh, in this case, I'm using PLA green on my uh, print core one and PLA black on my other print core, on the print core two. So you can see those two colors printed out here. And what we're looking to do is find which of these lines best align with one another. And we're going to use the calibration sheet to do that. So you lay this on top of the calibration sheet so that those patterns are aligned with the uh, black boxes on the calibration sheet. And you'll see that now the calibration sheet provides you with numbers. So it starts with zero in the middle, and then it goes to positive numbers up to positive 20 above, and down to negative 20 below. And the same thing up here, it starts at zero in the middle, goes to negative 20 to the left, and up to positive 20 on the right. So uh, first we're going to do the X offset calibration, and as indicated, that's this top grid here, because that's what the printer asks for first. So what you want to do is start with the middle line, the one that's marked as zero, and you look at the black line, which you can see, or the, the bottom line, sorry, which might be a different color in your case, and you'll see that extends further down as, a, as an indication for you that that's uh, the middle line. So the one that comes all the way down past the border of, of the uh, rectangle, that's your center line, that's a zero. And you look at how that lines up with the one above it. In this case, it's really just about perfect. If you look to the, to the line just to the right of that, you'll see that as you move farther to the right, the lines on the bottom start to move towards the right so that they're no longer aligned with the ones on top, and they get further and further apart as you go farther to the right. And if you look to the left, you'll see that those lines start to shift to the left so that the black lines, in this case, are to the left of the green lines. And again, that gets further and further so the farther you go. So in my case, it looks like zero, the one right in the middle, is actually perfectly aligned. And so in my case, the offset for X is going to be zero. If, on the other hand, that was just slightly off and it looked like, you know, and I could almost argue that minus one is just about as good here. So the one just to the left is minus one, and then minus two, minus three, etc. cetera. Um, it's either zero or minus one in this case. It's a real close call. I, the printer actually lets you set it in half steps. So I, I might actually go right in between those two and set it to minus 0.5 in this case. So it's just slightly, slightly off, off center. But um, that's the general idea is you want to find which pair of lines best match up with one another, starting at the center. And then if you have to go to the left or to the right to find the ones that are best aligned, that's the value that you're looking for. So don't start way over at 20 or uh, minus 20 or positive 20 because those are not going to line up well. You want to start right at the middle at zero and then move out from there as needed. So my X offset is going to be minus 0.5 in this case. I'm going to go ahead over here to the Y offset because that's what we're going to be asked for next. 
And the same procedure, I'm going to start in the middle at zero. There's the zero line that comes out further than the others. And I'm going to look at how that aligns with the green. And again, in this case, zero is looking pretty darn good. Um, I could see uh, maybe, well, no. I mean, both the, the plus one and minus one are pretty close as well. But in sort of averaging those out, I'm going to say zero is really pretty spot on in this case. So I'm going to say zero for the Y offset. And I'm going to say minus 0.5 for the X offset. So let's go plug those into the printer. Okay, so on the printer, it's now asking us for the X offset, and we're going to just use the knob here to go ahead and uh, we're going to push continue first, and it's telling us to go ahead and find the lines that are labeled X on the grid, set the X offset value. So now I'm going to go ahead and rotate this left just one notch, and as you can see, the new value now says minus 0.5. You can, you know, keep scrolling if you need to set it to other values, or you can scroll to the right to set it to positive values. But in this case, I want minus 0.5. I'm going to click to continue. Then it's going to ask for the Y offset, so continue. And again, it's telling you to find the uh, lines that are aligned. We've already done that. So we'll continue and select the new value. So the, the current value was set to minus one in this case. I'm going to go ahead and shift that back to zero because zero looked really good. So I'm going to set it to zero and click to continue. And now it says the XY offset between the current print cores has been calibrated. So that's now done. For this particular pair of print cores, I don't need to do that again. That calibration has now been saved within the print cores themselves. And anytime I'm using this particular combination, which in my case, this was a, a pair of AA print cores, but this could also be an AA and a BB print core, the same thing would apply. If it's the same pair of print cores, that calibration uh, only needs to be done once. So we'll now press continue. And it now says to place the glass plate back on the build plate, which I'll do in just a moment and then finish. So with that we are done with the XY calibration. I can just scroll down here and go to return to get back to my main menu. And return again and return again to go all the way back up to the top level menu. And we're ready to start printing now. So I hope that was helpful to clarify the uh, calibration process. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.